red blood cells and their journey in circulatory system. Red blood cells are also called uh, erythrocytes and they are highly specialized cells for uh, transporting oxygen. Uh, here are a couple of uh, properties of uh, red blood cells. Uh, size, uh, red blood cells have a diameter of uh, 6 to 8 uh, micrometers and thickness 1 to 2 micrometers. Shape, each red blood cell is a fle flexible biconcave disc. Uh, this uh, biconcave shape provides a high ratio of surface area to volume, allowing sufficient diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide in and out of the red blood cell. Number present, uh, each uh, microliter of human blood contains around 5 to 6 million red blood cells. Function, uh, to transport respiratory gases by using the protein hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a complex molecule and uh, an image is uh, provided here. Uh, despite their small size, an erythrocyte contains uh, around 250 million molecules of uh, hemoglobin. Place of uh, formation, red blood cells are formed continuously in the bone marrow, particularly in the ribs, breastbone, pelvis, lung bones, and so on. Under uh, normal condition, uh, your bone marrow uh, produces about uh, 2 million red blood cells every second to replace the same number that is destroyed every second in liver and uh, uh, spleen. Lifespan. The lifespan of a red blood cell is about 120 days. Uh, uh, place of death, place of uh, destruction for red blood cells are uh, two organs, the spleen and liver. Phagocytic cells in these uh, organs remove worn out uh, red blood cells from circulation. Some of the components of the red blood cells are recycled like uh, iron and uh, heme. Next, uh, the journey of the red blood cell. Uh, before uh, uh, tracing the path of a red blood cell, let's see the valves of the heart. There are four valves of the heart. Atrioventricular valve or tricuspid valve, pulmonary valve, aortic valve, mitral valve. In this page and in the other one, I have uh, described in details the, the structures, the, the stages of the red blood cell in its path. I'm going to uh, follow the path now to trace the path using a diagram. So, as I mentioned, the red blood cells are formed in uh, the bone marrow. They start with a stem cell and they go through several stages. This is a multi-step process. Uh, red blood cells uh, first produces uh, uh, their ribosomes, which are needed uh, to uh, make uh, hemoglobin, to make uh, proteins. Uh, after hemoglobin is uh, around 30% of the content of the red blood cells, the red blood cells start to uh, to destroy some of uh, organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, uh, mitochondria, uh, nucleus, and is left uh, only with uh, hemoglobin. Now, mitochondria is uh, destroyed and for another reason. Mitochondria uses uh, oxygen during the cellular respiration uh, to provide energy. Uh, but the purpose of uh, the red blood cell is not to use the uh, oxygen, to, is to transport the oxygen through the circulatory system. That's why the mitochondrion uh, is uh, crossed out here. They are not, uh, they are not needed for the, for the red blood cell. Uh, first state or first uh, place is after the red blood cells is uh, leaving the bone marrow then uh, the red blood cell uh, mature uh, without oxygen, deoxygenated, uh, moves through the veins, uh, circulatory uh, the blood vessels, and reaches the superior vena 
kiva at this point here and it's going down after uh, a while it goes to the right atrium uh, uh, right atrium is uh, contracting and pushing pushing through this valve atrioventricular valve pushing the red blood cell to the uh, right ventricle a right ventricle now is uh, pushing the blood uh, through uh, the pulmonary artery and uh, the blood cell, the red blood cell, uh, goes to the lungs. In the lungs they uh, uh, take oxygen, they are loaded with oxygen, they bind oxygen to the hemoglobin and they form HbO2 a complex with oxygen then uh, the red blood cell uh, returns back to the to the uh, through the pul pulmonary veins it turns back to the left atrium left atrium uh, is contracting pushing the, the red blood cells into the uh, left ventricle from left ventricle uh, blood is uh, going through the aorta and now our blood cell is taking this uh, direction here going down and reaching the capillaries uh, of abdominal organs this is called the capillary bed and this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, place here the red uh, blood cells is uh, uh, shipping out the oxygen and taking some uh, carbon dioxide and it's moving back through the inferior uh, vena cava and uh, at the end reaches the atrium then cycle is repeated again now the path of red blood cell a summary is uh, provided here Thank you for watching the video and if you like it, subscribe.